my name is Gabor Kovac. I'm uh, working for Euronews. I have a question uh, to the Secretary General. Uh, is there any uh, way uh, on the long run uh, to, or Interpol can propose anything to identify someone uh, from a passport other than a photo? Uh, is there any technical way to, to have a biometric uh, uh, passport? And yep. uh, what are the costs of this? Yes. So those of us who've traveled internationally know that when we go to cross a border or border plane, um, we're required to show our identity document, whether it be a passport or a national ID card. And many of us have seen that document being screened by immigrations or border control. So one thing that Interpol does is in the process of the screening, we link to member countries and they can screen it for the name, they can screen it for the image, they can screen it for the passport number. And any one of those items can lead to the, a red flag coming up and the screener learning that the passport was reported lost or stolen. Our member countries have done that about 800 million times last year. And more than 60,000 times there are hits identifying a passport as having been reported lost or stolen. Once that hit occurs, you take the person out of the primary line and the secondary line and begin to interrogate him or her and ask them, why are you in possession of this passport? And you tend to get one of two responses. It's mine, I have reported it lost or stolen and found it and decided to fly with it. And the other response would be just a, some kind of uh, misleading or false, false statement. So Interpol believes the system we have in place um, is a very, very effective system. And a proof of, of it is that it's used 800 million times a year. But what we're hoping that, uh, that your viewers will understand are really two points. One point is the Italian example that I point to, and that is if you lose your passport or if it's stolen, report it to the authorities like happened with the Italian state police. And if the police are as fast as the Italians are, it should be put in our databases right away so it could be screened. The second point is if you do lose it or have it, think it's stolen and find it, and you've already reported it lost or stolen, don't get on a plane. Don't try to cross a border. Contact the same police or authorities to say you found it. And don't use that passport once it's been reported lost or stolen. It might sound like a simple analogy, but if you treat your stolen passport like you would treat a stolen credit card or a lost credit card, once you report it lost or stolen, you would never think about trying to use it for an important purchase. And we think the same thing should be true for passport holders.